very fishy spot. Fins, mass, spear gun, and let's get in that water. That was all right. Man, it's super deep water right here, eh? Oh well, it looks like we're having snapper again. <laughs> I wasn't planning on shooting a snapper, but as I was sneaking through that gut, that setup was just way too good. He actually saw me, he briefly saw me, but not enough. I knew he was gonna come back in because he didn't dart off straight away. So I just had to be ready pretty much. I was hiding in the kelp. I don't normally take the front on shots like that, but he was so freaking close to me. We'll go find a nice shelter bay. Relax, have a cook up. The last thing I'd want is this thing to fly off while I'm doing a billion miles an hour. Start that up. It's quite nice actually. Something a little different. It's quite deep here. 10 meters. See if it's out of that wind. All right, I'll drop the anchor real quick and we'll just see how it feels. Probably be real nice and air in the morning. There's fish over there. Yeah, we'll give it a go. I like it. Right, where are we going to go? What do you reckon? Somewhere nice. Let's go up here, eh? Who the fish? Yeah, I reckon up here. Perfect spot. Man, we've even got a real nice grassy spot up there. Do we do that instead? Yeah, let's go up there. That's an epic spot. See if I can land up in here without falling over. Ooh, oysters. Not good. Okay. Yep. Rodney. Get right there. So just pack off. I did have, this, I did have the life jacket because I thought I'd be sitting on the rocks, but I reckon we'll go up there on the grass. Way better idea. Might actually unload it before I pull it up because it's going to be pretty heavy with all that stuff on there. Alright, put this down up here. Oh, 
I like the spot, but I'm a little bit nervous about catching this grass on fire with my cooker. Could be quite a good spot just here though. I can put the cooker on that rock. Just gotta find a spot that's out of that wind as well. Yeah, this will be good. All right. What do you reckon, guys? Gee. Perfect eating size, man, for me. I'll mow this whole thing back tonight. I don't normally eat snappers so many times in a row. I normally like to mix it up, but it's just snapper for the last two days. All right, that can go back in the ocean. Take the bones out. Got no sand to wash me chopping board with. My friend makes these knives. I should say it because there's going to be some comments. Wildside Knives. Go on Instagram, search that, send him a message. Wildside Knives. He's a good friend of mine. It's Gerald. Get all the scales and the nasties off. There we go. Dinner. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that, man. All right, let's try to get up there without dropping everything. Oh, let's have it right here. This is a real good spot. Let's get this fired up. Maybe I'll give that a little wipe out. One second. It's got some nasties in there. That's how I do the dishes on the adventures. <laughs> Perfect. Right, take two. This is probably one of the most picturesque spots we've cooked dinner. What do you reckon? Like, got a good view? I suppose we've always got good views. That's why we go there. <laughs> anyway, I just think this one's cool because we're quite, like, we're elevated. Normally we're, like, on a beach. Brand new coat and cook. Finished the last of that other box yesterday. We got a brand new -y. There you go. Oh! Right, we'll slice this fish up. Man, probably take those off. Oh man, what a posse! Sizzling away. Oh my goodness. Sorry Catherine. <laughs> You're not having any. Not this time. Catherine's at home looking after our daughter. One day our daughter will be old enough to be on these adventures, you know. Be a proud dad moment right there. Proud new dad moment. Stay there. Okay, we're ready guys. First of all, we'll get a wrap. That is loaded, dude. Tiny bit of salt. Heaps of pepper. Just a little bit of lemon. And a little bit of this. Wrap number one. Oh. Mm. 
That is good. That is really good. All right, guys, change of plans. I'm actually just going to head back to the boat and we're going to change locations because that chop is getting worse and I don't really want to be sleeping in that. While we've got daylight, we're going to go find a, a calmer spot. Let's go. I've got a good spot of mine, so let's go there while we've got daylight. Coming in hot. Let's go. That's a bit calmer, guys. That's what we want. Where are we going to go? There's a beach over there, but we don't even need to go to the beach. I wonder if we just go over here. Way nicer. <laughs> I oh, just got to watch out for rocks. I feel better about this. I'm glad we moved. It's starting to get pretty nasty in where we were. It was nice when we first got there though. This is better. Yep, this will work. Yeah, boys. Oh, well, let's go and have some casts. Tide's coming in, I just gotta remember that. I've been frothing to do this all afternoon, man. Evening light tackle session. Let's go. How's the peacefulness, man? Unreal. Yep, on. Yee <laughs> There it is. Nice. Yeah, man. Stoked. Nice snapper to finish the night on, man. Pumped. All his blue spots are all lit up. Let's let him go. Grey Nomad Glow, 4.2 inch minnow. Go get yourself some bait junkies, guys. Seriously, man, they slay it. Stoked as with that. Good little way to finish the day. All right, I'm gonna head back to the boat, set up the tent. We'll see you guys in the morning. What a day, man, what an epic day. Don't know how many episodes I've got from today, but I reckon there's a couple, two or three at least. If you're just tuning in, make sure you jump back and have a look at what else happened. Good day.